So we got five final cars in this pack of the ACD testing. So welcome back to another episode here on Assetta Corsa. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're going to be taking a look at the five final cars in the pack and getting you guys to pick which one out of the five in this section you guys like. This is episode three. If you didn't see the first two episodes, check back. Episode one and two, we did test the other cars in the pack. So without further ado, we got five cars to get done. Let's make some quick banger runs and we'll start off, of course, at S15. Sounds like an SR20 powered S15. So S15s are notoriously good at control and handling. So we'll see how this one drives. As I say that, we were really wide. It looked very promising in the beginning of the run, and then the car just felt like it started to fall apart for me. I'm not sure what happened there. Just felt like it either lost boost or whatever. That's why I just checked to make sure I was at 100% boost. Just felt like it kind of started to fall on its face and forth. So, one final run. It's kind of falling on its face. Oh, that's a little weird and uh, not what I expected, but we're going to take it with what it is. We're going to take a look at the two runs, see where we're at with this car, and then move on to the next one. It's kind of weird. It, did, it just felt like the power was lost. Like, initially, it's great. Banging red line. I'm watching the boost. And then it kind of just kind of falls out. I mean, I don't know if I needed to be in third, but then it seemed like that would have been too high of a gear. Too high in the RPM band, kind of, because we're already rev banging it out in fourth. So, but I thought this probably was going to be the most grippiest and like the OG car, but I was not too, too comfortable in this car. So we'll see what the other cars have to say this episode. You see right there, it kind of just dies off and I pop it in the third. Right there, I pop it in the third just to finish off the course when I shouldn't have had to. But then again, maybe it's just the way the car is. So moving on to the next one. The next car I had to leave in the Rockstar livery in, you know, celebration of Osbo's second in a row championship, third championship overall. So we're leaving it in the Rockstar Energy paint. So we're going to take the A90 out, which you guys know I love A90s. So hopefully this A90 uh, gives me something, something to uh, write home about in this ACD pack. Here it looks like. I was worried I'm gonna smack that wall. If I say A90, give me something to write home about. It's always the second car we try in the group. I don't understand. The last two episodes, the second cars of the group were the that I tried were the cars that I felt the most comfortable in. I don't understand why it's working that way. But you know what? Benefit of the doubt, you guys pick down in the comments which one you think was the smoothest. that wide oh, 
we kind of flubbed this run all the heck. So we got a good run in the beginning, and then we kind of flubbed the second part, the second run. But we're going to look at the replays. Solid entry. So definitely going to do something different for the cars that you guys have been picking. Which ones you guys think are the smoothest from episode 1, 2, and this episode. I'm going to take those three cars, take them to another track. A bank track to see which one of those three I'm the most comfortable in on a bank track. So if you guys didn't watch the first episode and the second episode, go back, watch them. There's groups of four cars in there. And which one I felt, which one you felt was the smoothest and most comfortable in from your eyes. Let me know in the comments on those videos as well as this one in this group of five. And uh, we're going to take those three cars, take them to a bank, and see what we can do with those cars and see which one we're more comfortable in on the bank. Because this is flat track stuff. We need to do a bank track stuff. Unless you guys want to see all the cars on the bank. But let's get the next one in. Another car you don't see too much in drifting much in the community when it comes to competitive cars. The Alteza. So we're gonna go full send in the Alteza. Those are some bright headlights. Oh my gosh, daytime. Um and that'll blind anybody in front of you. Holy crap, those lights are bright. We're gonna turn those off. Make sure we're at full boost. Rip the Alteza. Already feel steering wheels kind of soft feeling, kind of like the Viper was compared to the other cars. Definitely has a much lighter steering wheel feel, which is not a bad thing, but takes a second to get used to it because the rotation speed is much different. But overall, solid run. One more run in the Alteza, and then we will take a look at the replay. Then we got two more cars to do, two Toyotas, to end this episode off, and end off all the ACD cars in the pack. Oh yeah, that was that light steering wheel bolt. I was not ready for it. Yep, nope, that run totally botched. That light steering wheel feel is definitely something totally different compared to all those other cars. And I had I struggled with that light feeling with the Viper as well. So, yep, that light feel is just getting me. So we'll go take a look at that first run. This is definitely not going to be uh, a contender in my eyes um, because of that feeling in the wheel and not being as being able to consistent but overall like initially it was a pretty solid run and solid car but being behind the wheel of it it's definitely uh quite light we could probably stiffen it up with some tuning but initially that was a bit light So we got two Toyotas to do. Let's go and get the first one. So we have the GT86. Then we have the GR86 is the final one that we got to do. So we got these two Toyotas on the block. It's got daylight headlights. Now it's got standard style headlights, not daytime. Wheel does have a little bit more heavier feel, but we'll see once we start get rolling. Yep, definitely a heavier feel. that section we need to be fifth gear so first first run we realize we need fifth gear we're gonna have to go into this with fifth gear this thing is bangs and pop. definitely having a lot of fun doing these acd testing of these cars if you guys enjoyed this let me know down below as well as well as which one you think was the smoothest in this episode
That's a pretty good run. Hunting through those cones, but we will check once we get to the replay. Yeah, fifth gear was definitely the way to go. Oh, I clutched a little bit too much in there to pop the clutch to slip it a little bit. I wanted to slip it more than I popped it. So let's take a look at these two runs. Then we got the GR86 left. And then we've finished off the roster of ACD cars. All the bangs and the pops <laughs> are definitely uh, aggressively on the red line. We're all not bad. We definitely need to be in fifth, so. Two we are with the second run. Don't slow through that chicane. It's a tight chicane. Very quick through that section. Way off that zone, though. Yep, and we were taking those cones out. We were on the yellow line, but we were taking the cones out, so... It's not where we want to be. And instead of slipping, I popped it, so we went straight. So let's grab the last car in the pack. Final one is that GR86, and it's a V8, so... I have high hopes for this car, so let's see what we can do in the V8, because we know my love for V8s. This is the final car on the list for the ECD cars. Not sure what gear we're going to need to be in. <clears throat> uh, what? <laughs> I say high hope, and we uh, go in and smack the star cones? All right, let's try to go through this without smacking the cones. Fourth gear, it looks like. That was really shallow. This car transitions really hard on brakes. We need to definitely be very careful on the brakes with this for sure. How quickly that back rotating. We managed to get a run, but that back end rotates super quick on brakes. But then again, we could be adjusting the brakes on the car and fine tuning it, but this is just out of the box tunes. That break, <laughs> that break rotation. Oh, other than that, I feel like that was a solid run. So let's take a look at those two runs. So remember, down below, let me know which car out of this group did you think was the smoothest and best running in my hands right now. In the two runs that I ran, I'll be taking... <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. I'll be taking the three cars from the three episodes and putting them on a bank. So... This is the final car of the roster of ACD cars. It was a little bit shallow initially, but this car's moving. That was when I realized brakes makes it rotate really quickly. That's such a solid car. I love the look of that car. I love the new GR86. Definitely love to get my hands in one of those. And uh, be a sweet car. All right. So final run for this episode. So you guys follow me on all social media. I'll just found the description box below. You guys know what to do. Let me know down below which of the five you think was the smoothest. We'll be taking those three from episode one, two, and three to a bank. And seeing which one of those feels the best. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.